right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? Fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to the spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes. There is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. You've got his man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line today. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that problem. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled. He's so dangerous. He's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. So Herb Dean, third man Ready, in there for this one. Ready. All right, so here we go from Team Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, and wherever we are in the world. Most fighters on this roster, to a man, to a woman, they want the chance at some point to make this walk here in Vegas. You absolutely want to fight in Las Vegas. Before it was the MGM Grand, it was the Mandalay Bay. Now it is the T-Mobile Arena, the most beautiful arena in the world, in the home for the biggest UFC fights right now. From International Fight Week to championship fights all across the board. Come to T-Mobile. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. And that spinning kick found its home on top. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Clean with the right hook. Trying to kick the leg out. There's his jab. So more output, at least in the early going. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Big shot lands for both guys. He's got a cut above the eye now. Unable to connect there. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Liberty. Two minutes have ripped off the round one clock. Working off the jab, it's good. Looking to land the leg kick now. He tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Side kick now. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Now with the knee. Just over two minutes now to go. Nice jab. Oh, 
Oh, that head kick was nasty. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Head kick partially blocked. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but even if you block them a little bit, they still put damage on you. Get out of there! Circling to his right. Oh, big right hand, yes. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game. Plan. Oh, solid kick right there. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Both sides with conviction. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting. An elbow! Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, separation from the clinch. Oh, nice counter jab to snap the head back. Uh, horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. You see the cut just above the eye from that round. So the cut man's got to get in here, close that thing up. You don't want it becoming an issue here into this next round. Better than this dude. Hands up. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Oh, lands a beautiful switch kick there, champ. I mean, just like Edson Barbosa, he switches stances and drives that kick up on the L. Right on the button. Oh. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Punch over the top. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Those are the body kicks that'll crumble you. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, as good a counter striker as there is in the game. Straight right is good. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and lands some big knees from the close. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You should never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip that head out of that snow. Three minutes now to go in this one. Oh, man. 
Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of the traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's octagon. Oh, nice combo by him. Oh, big diving punch to the head. Oh, he's mixing it up well. There's a ground and pound elbow to the body. Like that strike from the bottom fighter got the crowd's attention. And he's back up. Beautiful block. Oh, nice. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. All right, single collar time now. Slips. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Goes to the switch kick and lands. You got that weapon in your arsenal? Right? It is a great strike, and I've done it a number of times. I actually threw it in both fights against Deep Emilch. Well, I am not going out on a... You heard him again. Back to his feet. to the head block. Under a minute. Now to go in round two. Whiffs on that offering. Good stick. And he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Under 30 seconds. All right, well, he made no bones about his game plan. He was going to attack the body, and he does so effectively yet again. How about the discipline? How about the discipline to stay the course, to not rush, to not go head hunting, knowing that down the line, all these body shots will pay off for him. And now you can see it starting to happen. Wow, what a round it was. There's the horn, two knockdowns. Certainly a 10-8 is plausible. We'll see if his opponent can make some adjustments here. It's gonna be tough. J.A., I thought it was over. Yeah. I thought it was over. I was yelling, it's over, it's over. After the first knockdown, dude gets up and gets knocked down again. He understands now he has a very tough competitor in front of him, but he needs to stay patient, go find another big shot, be confident in knowing that eventually the finish is gonna come. Ready, fight. Ready. Let's Here we go. Third round of this championship fight. Oh, nice. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. With conviction to the body. That is a damaging kick that lands. All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. And now leather being thrown on both sides. Oh, beautiful technique for him there on that sidekick. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good. Oh, he has.
has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the street. Back to his feet. Oh, with authority, the body. Another pinpoint strike there, and no surprise to see the swelling. Oh! Goes down again! Beautiful diving strike. Right up. Right up. Blocks the shot. He gets to the single collar time. Look at him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Throws that teeth. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to fight. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we're starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reaction of the opponent. Nice right hand by the champ, yeah. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm to face such a big spot. Oh, that oh, funny bonus. Absolutely, J.A. There's nothing more exciting than a knockout in sport. You don't see it anywhere but mixed martial arts. This young man will celebrate this deep into the night as he should.